what I've got for you guys today is definitely something a little different. I wanted to recreate the vector back from, well, a pick a Call of Duty. Pick a previous Call of Duty, whether it be an old Modern Warfare or an old Black Ops game. I wanted to recreate the vector, and that's exactly what we did today. It has very good recoil control. However, it's not a weapon you want to take long-range fights with, obviously. It has an insane fire rate and pretty good mobility meaning if you can get up close and personal with people i'm not sure there's a weapon or an smg in the game that can really compete with this thing the only time you really find trouble is when you start getting out of the comfort range of the damage but there's not many circumstances you're going to run into like that so my first attachment here is going to be the agile assault 7 stock that's going to give you aim walking speed aimed outside speed crouch movement speed and sprint speed we are sacrificing some recoil control here but as you guys can see it's only three percent across the board which can be easily made up for with other attachments i feel like the pros are far outweighing the cons here mainly the ads movement speed but also an additional two percent to the aimed out sight speed here is no slouch for my next attachment i am using the fennec stippled grip that's pretty self-explanatory a weapon like this does have a pretty crazy recoil pattern without the correct attachments and this is just one of many you're gonna need we're making up for everything that we just lost from the stock and even more we're getting seven percent across the board here to gun kick horizontal and vertical recoil control my next attachment is going to be a preference if you guys want to use the normal 30 round mag you guys can feel free to do so but with the fast fire rate as you guys can see 1090 rounds per minute I find that it is extremely necessary to run an extended mag or the 45 round mag. Granted, you are sacrificing movement, as you guys can see, in mobility and handling. I just think it's worth it. If you guys are going to be using this weapon, it's probably going to be on small maps that are up close and personal with people. For the underbarrel, I do have the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. This is a massive attachment when it comes down con to controlling visual shake on the weapon. The Fennec has a lot of visual shake without this attachment. This is gonna do a very good job of controlling it with gun kick, aiming idle sway, horizontal recoil control, and fire aiming stability. So we're gonna get an additional 10% to the gun kick, 8% to the horizontal recoil control. Also on top of that, we're getting a massive increase to fire aiming stability, which is the shake. And the final attachment for this one is going to be a muzzle with the purifier muzzle break S, horizontal recoil control, and even more fire aiming stability being gained here at the sacrifice of bullet velocity and damage range. At the end of the day, I just don't think it's important. Damage range of bullet velocity in a weapon like this, you're gonna be so close to them that you more or less evaporate them. If you start getting into medium range categories, you're probably gonna start dying in pretty weird gunfights. If you're going to use it, use it like a shotgun. Get absolutely in their face. Do you guys think I did a good job at recreating the vector here, at least appearance-wise? I think this thing looks really freaking good. Go down in the comment section and let me know. Make sure you guys copy down these attachments if you guys also wanted to give it a try. Here's going to be the rest of my loadout on the screen. Feel free to also copy this down if you guys want to so you guys can see exactly what I'm running for the gameplay. Maybe you guys can copy that perk for perk, lethal for lethal, whatever you want to do. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's jump into today's gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. I have got the Fennec 45 here in hand over here on Das Gross. I've said this already. I think this is the most creative remake we've seen so far, and I'll stand by that. It's not like so the other ones aren't better. Spore Yard. Uh, what's the other one for Tetanus? It's not that those aren't good. I just think on a creative scale, this one's just fantastic, man. What is your guys' favorite remake here in uh, Modern Warfare 3? If you guys you guys had to pick one that stayed you know what i mean for the remainder of time every game's gonna have it kind of thing which one are you choosing i think tetanus is pretty cool i think spore yard's pretty cool like those ones are like i'm not a big fan of quarry so i can't relate on that front i don't ever play quarry like whatever they call it in this one oh we got a we got call outs ah! did i mute him listen i appreciate the call outs but you're yelling in my ear sir my team has a huge lead here Gotta go. Got an advanced. That's good. I'm gonna hit a route this way. Because their whole team's here. I almost locked in none of those kills. That would have been tragic. There's our UAV. Plenty of time here. I just wanna make sure I lock in my advanced UAV again, because that's obviously what's going to feed me mm, in a pickle. There we go. Oh, hostiles launched a cruise missile. Oh, 
Can't allow them to be getting cruise missiles. I gotta pay attention here. I'm gonna get this UAV in right now. They're gonna spawn on me. There's our advance. Like I said, I knew they were gonna spawn on me. I just gotta sit. I can't move. All right, let's get around the back. All right, this should be safe now. 28. I'm dead. I got the MGB though. That was the goal, of course. That locks us in everything we need. So now we can be super aggressive, not really worry about anything else. talk about it that wasn't great on my end we do need to get a little more focus here on some obj because the other team from where they started to where they are at now it's definitely definitely on the comeback grind for them good kill it's just me and the teammate really just balling out here he's got 20 i got 50. Oh, they got it. That's tough. He coming here? Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. One cough of the advanced UAV. No! I hate people. Did my VTOL go in or did it glitch? Oh, it went in. I'm getting RPG'd by Big Lunch. Oh, wait, I just remembered. I said I need to worry about the OBJ. No, the heck I don't. Actually, no, the heck I don't. Because I have an MGB, which means it ends the game. I was bugging out for nothing. God, I am just bugging out, man. I'm bugging out. There's so many people around me. What? That right there is the range you can't take. I've, you've seen a couple times where my gunfights look terrible. stuck me with the dang thing i just want to lock in 100 and that's not too much to ask for here
I'm getting blown up by Big Lunch. Big Lunch, I'm going to have a bigger RPG for you here in a minute. Bigger RPG, Big Lunch. Get your head in the game, Kate. I need two kills. Literally need two. Homie is willingly and actively using an RPG. What am I supposed to do? I don't think our uh, trophy system blocks the RPG. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm getting spawn trapped. Oh, there's a lot happening here. Where the heck are all these people coming from, bro? Yeah, big launch. Hold it. Vitzel, right in the back. Advanced UAV. Flank successful. I'm gonna get blown up. Another launcher! Brother! 122. What's that? A BB song? That's what it feels like. That's what we're feeling like right now. I'm gonna get put on a watch list now. They are relentless. 132. Might be able to bump it up here to like maybe 140. Gotta be perfect. Also gotta pay attention to... The clock. I need four kills. Maybe not. Maybe freaking not. Alright, I'm just gonna probably nuke it. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna nuke it here. Make sure we don't choke anything. Ladies and gentlemen, 150 freaking kills. I didn't think I got that many, but that MGB must have bumped that up as a W.